Thank you. As Charlene has already mentioned, our monthly special offering is for neighbors in need. We basically do this every year. This is a use, our denominational UCC project. Uh, we give them the, the proceeds of this offering. Um, one third of it supports their Council for American Indian Ministry. And two thirds is for the Justice and Witness Ministries. The Justice and Witness Ministry funds grants to UCC churches and organizations, as well as a, supporting a variety of justice initiatives, advocacy efforts, and direct service projects. This year, the theme is Behold for Environmental Justice and How to Care for God's Creation and Be Better Stewards of Our Planets. Um, in support of the American Native American ministry, the Senate of the UCC denomination passed a resolution calling for the UCC to investigate and make amends for its historical complicity to, in boarding schools for Native Hawaiians and Native American nations. Uh, it's been in the news recently how Native peoples in Canada and the United States have been mistreated in the past by forcing the children to go to these boarding schools and robbing them of their culture and language. Um, and why Native Hawaiians are included, I noted a note that says there are 29 historically Native Hawaiian churches in Hawaii founded by the missionaries to the islands in the 1800s. That's why they're included. Um, two suggestions for how we as Christians can take part in creative justice are, one, seek justice for racial inequalities and the ongoing legacy of colonialism. Creative justice is deeply intertwined with multiple matters of justice. The current climate crisis gives matters of justice utmost urgency. Secondly, the UCC Commission on Racial Justice was the central organization in the watershed events of the environmental justice movement. That was several years ago even. Every UCC church has the opportunity to continue this powerful legacy. I wanted to remind us there are two examples of environmental harm to underserved communities in Chicago. One is lead and heavy metals have laced everyday life in Pilsen and Little Village since the Industrial Revolution. Whether detected in the air, it quadrupled the national standard or enmeshed in the soil. Countless missteps and degrees of negligence at the industry level have left these neighborhoods with a dangerous mess. In South Chicago, the former heavy steel industry has left behind acres of land requiring environmental cleanup before much needed new development can begin. So, uh, the money received this month will enable us through our denomination to further the efforts to seek environmental justice for our neighbors at the local, national, and global level. So as all our special offerings uh, need a special, if you're giving in, in the church during worship, you need to put your special offering in a special envelope. Today we have a special envelope, but otherwise you use the white envelopes in the pews and mark it for the special offering. Thank you.